Greetings to our beautiful lecturer Puan Putri Zulaiha Bintirazi and the honorable panel and my fellow friends. Today we, Group 10, going to present about our project. It's a honor to me to introduce my group to you, which is Berjaya Construction Sandriabrahat. Team T E A M, which is together everyone achieve more. So these are my team. Starting from me, Sriyari Analagi Gopinath as a project manager and following are my teammates with their positions. Okay, now let's take a look about the project we get involved. Talking about the project, this project we are taken by the JKR, which is an ongoing project. The project entitled Chadangan Manai Trav Sabagian Jalan Semenye, Jalan Sanwe Semenye, and Jalan Desa Mawa Slango. If we take a look in the JKS document, there are many phases of work need to be done. But we, our team, are mainly focused in doing bridge work and then the roads work. Bridge work, which is mentioned by JKR, is a flyover work from Jalan Semenye to Jalan Desamawa. So this flyover consists of some roads on an upper phase and a downer phase. Flyover is going to connect one place to another place, but the purpose is roads can go in upper phase and downer phase and then reduce the traffic conjunction in a settled place. Take a look of the map where the works are falls in. The next slide will be constructed by my another team member. So thank you from me. Thank you, Mr. Suryari. Now I want to talk about the type of the project management. But Jaya Construction uh, implement the modern type of project management in all the previous construction project, including the proposed bridge construction. A major issue for this company is how to determine the time, cost, quality, safety, and environmental consequence to the uh, project executor. But Jaya Construction uh, also estimate the total cost of labor, existing work cost, material cost, and the tests will be performed. By using the PERT analysis and the critical part method, we have assumed that the project can be complete in 265 days. We also uh, believe that one of the most important aspects of project completion is safety. Uh, we have eight practice to improve the construction site uh, safety, that is awareness, training, communication, documentation, the proper equipment like PPE, safety helmet, uh, the supervision, innovation, and transparency. Next, Berjaya Construction also have the purpose, uh, mm. the multidisciplinary strategy to attain a sustainable futures in the construction. For example, avoid the environmental damage control measures such as the dust control, the waste soil management, as well as the use of reusable materials. That's all from me. Next, I give to Mr. Johan. Thank you Danish for your presentation. Assalamualaikum and good evening to everyone. My name is Johan Haikal Hilman Beroslan AA201A1 is my ID metric number. Now I would like to deliver on the type of organizational structure. Our construction project organization structure is based on project type organizational structure type. Our construction project is led by our project manager, Mr. Srihari, and assisted by our project engineer, Mr. Anang. Then followed up by the few positions which are Mr. Arif as a structuring engineer, Mr. Luffy as a quantity surveyor, Mr. Yi Heng as a planning engineer, Mr. Danish as a safety officer and myself as a quality control engineer. Based on the power and authority, engineering members of the project team will report to the project manager and are assigned to only one project scope. Based on our involvement, every part of our organization in our company is involved in the construction of the proposed flyover from the beginning up to the last stage of the construction. Different department is lead by their own expertise from their own scope of work as all of them requires high credibility to our company. I think that's all from me. I will pass to the next presenter. Thank you. Today I'm going to share with you about the project costing and the duration of the project. Firstly, for the board pile, the amount is 1,625,000 ringgit Malaysia. And for the temporary shoring work for them, it costs about 224,000. Pile cat six hundred and twenty thousand, abutment one million and six hundred thousand, pier column three hundred seventy thousand, pier cap one hundred and twelve thousand, for the superstructure which include precast U beam, beam launching, and diaphragm and deck slab, it costs about four million and seven hundred thousand, and lastly the bridge miscellaneous works costs about one hundred and 40,000 and the total cost estimation for this project is 
9,391,000 ringgit Malaysia. From the S curve, we can observe that the daily income is 58,000 ringgit Malaysia. And there are two trends in the S curve constructed where the first trend shows that the cost is higher than the income of the project, while the second trend shows that the cost is lower than the income of the project. Next, the difference between contractor expenses and income is the amount the contractor may need to loan from bank, where we can see it during the early part of the project. And followed by the gun chart, we can see the bridge work started at started on 29th of April 2022 and below the bridge work we have substructure and superstructure where the substructure includes bore piling, temporary shoring work which is cover dam, pile cap, embattlement, pier column and pier cap and lastly we have bridge miscellaneous works thank you Assalamualaikum and a very good day to everyone I am the structural engineer Arif Hazik and I would like to present about one of our method statement on this project. Method statement that I choose is beam launching. Why I choose this because it is very important in bridge construction and it involves many parties. So the first step before the beam launching is we need to make sure the machinery and equipment are in good condition and safe to use. And we need to mark the center line of the beam on the abutment. And the second step, second step is size setup. Make sure clean and setting up is suitable for the launching operation. The third step is launching sequence. First, trailer will bring in the precast U beam, and then the crane will lift the beam and place it on abutment. We need to check the accuracy of the beam position, and if satisfactory, the lifting sling will be released. We need to repeat the same process for all beam. And lastly, securing the beam. Beam must resting freely on the rubber bearing pad to prevent uh, from toppling over. And lastly, we need to welding the starter rebar at the top with the canvas rebar. That's all for me. I will pass it to the next presenter, Tan Yi Heng. Hello everyone, my name is Tan Yi Heng and now I'm going to present the work breakdown structure of our project. So as you can see in this slide, we use Excel application to assist us in uh, establishing our work breakdown structure. So we set the activities as parent activity or uh, child activities in the Excel application. And this is how our work breakdown structures looks like. Um, it outlines each of the activities in a very systematic way. And then followed by the organization breakdown structure. And we are led by our project manager, Mr. Sri Hari. And then the rest of us have our own designated position as well. And followed by we perform the PERT analysis to find out uh, the chances for us to complete our project in the allocated time and this table is the basic information of each of the activities. So first of all we need to construct the CPM diagram to find out the critical path of the project and also the uh, project duration. So in our case our project duration is uh, 156 days. And then our project due date is 165 days so we um, go through a series of calculations and then we have a conclusion of there are 95.25 percent chances that the project can complete in 165 days while 4.75 percent chance the project will fail to complete in 165 days so that's basically all for me and now i'm going to pass this presentation to the next presenter mr anang Mustanto. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tan Yi Heng. Moving on to the last part of our presentation, our company is very confident. In terms of experience, we are conceived of high qualified engineers, strive to meet clients' objective, and we also have experience in handling bridge work related projects for the past five years. And in terms of planning and scheduling, from our PERT analysis, we are confident to make sure that the project will be completed before the due date. We also offer the best price and we have all the resources needed to complete the project. And these are our past project in Bajaya Construction. And that is the reason why you should choose our company. That's all from us. Thank you.